I just got access to Elon Musk's OpenAI project. By invitation only, I applied and I was invited to join. Now let's take a look at what this thing does. It's pretty cool. For those who don't know, here's the OpenAI homepage where it explains a little bit about what they do. OpenAI is a AI research and development company. Our mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. That's kind of funny, isn't it? On the very homepage of OpenAI, they're trying to make it really clear that general artificial intelligence is not going to destroy humanity. You know, some people say it is, some people say it isn't. I have no idea how to figure that out because essentially what we're building here, what they're trying to build, is an AI so powerful that it's capable of learning on any domain. That's why it's called general intelligence, general artificial intelligence, because it's not specific to, you know, uh, medical domains or, you know, just data science at some law firm or something like that. It is general, it's capable of learning as broadly as a human can, but it has the capacity of, you know, how many, however many computers that we can manufacture for, um, for such a purpose. Essentially, we can make a giant super brain. Um, that's essentially what OpenAI um, is aiming to do, create general intelligence. Now, have they done that yet? Absolutely not. What they have done is created something called GPT-3, which is a general text in, text out interface, which is fairly broad. Now, let's take a look at the playground where I can show you what this actually does, because it's one thing to say, you know, I have a text in, text out interface that uses general AI, but it's another thing to see what this thing can actually do. All right, so here we are in the playground where I can input text and then it's going to output text based on my input text. Basically, OpenAI has an understanding of the entire internet in text form and it's gonna take my input and try and guess the output that I want. So I've come up with a few ideas for what this could be used for. So ideas for what OpenAI can do. Automated blog post generation, Facebook text ad generation, movie script writer, app prototype code writer, Q&A bot, chat bot, text summarizer, create interview questions, create study notes, recipe generator. And using just these ideas, I'm actually gonna feed this input into the system and tell it to give me more ideas because those are the only ones I can think of off the top of my head. And I'm gonna ask it to, okay, given these ideas, Give me more ideas. So I'm actually using the OpenAI to tell me what it can do. So I'm gonna press submit here and let's see what it does. Video summarizer, image summarizer, blog post generator, blog post reader. Um, some of those don't really make sense. <laughs> this, was, this is already one I had, but blog post reader. I guess it could summarize blog posts. Automated video creator. I guess it could technically do that since videos are encoded in text might be quite a bit more difficult though. Um, automated screen recorder, automated TV show creator. So what I'm gonna do is pick the best ideas from these, the ones that make the most sense to me, and kind of clean up the input and then feed it back into the system again. So we'll clean up that line, a book writer, that sounds fine, blog post, sure, podcast, yep. We'll take those and input that into the system. Here's what it says, create a new OA language. I have no idea what that means. Automatic programming language, sure. Automatic website creator, yes. Art creator, like AutoCAD, oh, that's cool. So like generating 3D models, interesting. Automated TED Talk creator, <laughs> certainly could be done. Automatic music composer, that one is a really great idea, wow. Movie script writer, it just kind of copied some of my other ideas. Um, video game designer. I guess it could do that as well. Hmm. Video game development tool, yeah, graphic design. These are really interesting ideas. I especially like the uh, the music composer because music is just, you know, like the letters A through G, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I think we might be able to actually do that here. Let me Let me write something up and show you. All right, so some time has passed. It's been around an hour and I've created what I believe to be a good template for song to MIDI file. So a MIDI file is an encoding of a song, like whether that be Jingle Bells, um, you know, Holy Night or anything like that. Forgive the Christmas songs, but I couldn't really think of any other basic songs. I do have Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in there and Mary Had a Little Lamb. So I've given it three examples for, you know, the song name 
and then the actual music um, for that song. And what I'm hoping that it will do now is it will generate me a new song that I can play. And maybe we could even use this to generate like brand new songs. But right now I'm just hoping it'll, you know, pick an existing song and then give me the music for that song. So I'm just going to put a letter A here and see what it auto-completes. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing that that's a song though. I don't even know how to say that. So I just keep clicking submit until it generates me the full song, which hopefully happens soon before I hit the character limit. Okay, it looks like it did go to the next song. That's great. It kind of messed up a little bit on the output there. Let me correct that. Uh, that's supposed to go on a new line. Not that big a deal. We've got a song here that I've never heard of before. Um, so let's copy that. It probably exists. Let me just Google this real fast. Okay, looks like that is a song that exists. Um, it's about the new year, apparently. So let me copy that, and then we'll go and paste it over into another file. All right, here's our new MIDI file. Let's see if it's similar to any of the other ones. Doesn't appear to be at first glance, so let's see if this will actually open up now. So open up that song. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Um, let's just press play. I have no idea what this will sound like. What is this supposed to sound like? I have to hear it. Oh my gosh, it actually figured it out. Wow. Let's hear it again. Let's hear the full thing now. Okay, it doesn't sound quite right, but I'm not super familiar with that song. Let's try generating another song and see if it's able to hit that mark. That's very, very, very interesting. Let's see what it can do with that one. Let it snow. All right, looks like it's all done with Let It Snow. Let's copy that code and see if it plays. Paste that in there and open it up. Let it snow. Oh, good. This one actually has... Uh, notes and works. Let's play it. Ooh. That's not quite the right tune we're looking for. Let's see what's in the rest of it. Okay, looks like it kind of just added its own twist to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Close, but no cigar. It's not quite there. Um, so as you can see, the AI is quite temperamental, but I mean, it is writing music. It happened to have just copied that one from one of the other examples and added a few variations. But you know, a good amount of the time, the variations actually worked and the files opened, which is incredible. So in the future, it's likely that I'll be using this to create other projects, or maybe even some apps of my own. Um, any number of those different ideas that I had posted at the beginning of the video um, could be quite useful for you know generating code. If you've heard of GitHub Copilot, um, that's something that's also extremely powerful. So in the future, I'll probably be using this. Uh, I'll just need to figure out exactly how I can make it useful but it's incredibly powerful. Anyways, if you found this interesting, thanks for watching, and make sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. It really helps support the channel. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in future videos.